Good evening and welcome to the Westby Fieldhouse. We have Cooley Conference basketball tonight, starting out with the JV. West Salem is visiting Westby tonight. Big game on the varsity side as Westby hopes to try to gain a share of the conference lead here with just a few games, a few games remaining. But first, we're going to have JV action here. West Salem in the JV side won the first matchup. I don't remember what the score was, but West Salem has a, a fine, fine program all the way through here. Big numbers. A lot of freshmen playing basketball for West Salem. And this looks to be a good contest. Starting lineups for the Westby Norris, Brooklyn Booty, along with Allie Fortune, Grace Bailey, Natalie Miller, and Aaron Gluck. And we'll try to get the West Salem starters as we go here. This is number 20 out on the wing, number 10, I'm sorry, with the ball. That is Natalie Reichert. She gives over 34s in the corner. Reichert gets the ball back and loses it, but we're going to get a foul. 34 for West Salem is Madison Kaiser. 24 is Addison Ferguson. 4 is Addie Jean, we'll call it. And there's a rebound for West Salem quickly on the offensive boards. That is... 34 Kaiser with the putback and with Salem has the early lead they come out in a press and we're going to get a reach foul on West Salem I believe I missed I feel like I missed one of the West Salem players I'm trying to dig that out that's number 40 up yep, Josie Brudos is number 40 starting for West Salem Miller has the ball on the wing for the Norris. This is down to Brooklyn Booty. Her shot is no good. Tipped around. That's off and controlled by Brudos for Westby. She comes down the court, pulls it back out. West Salem misses that pass inside, and Grace Bailey comes away with it as West Salem sets up their pressure, but Bailey's able to get across the timeline and beat it. West Salem 2-0 early here in this JV contest. Luke tries to go baseline, now gives to Brooklyn Booty, tries to work in the post, can't, shot does not go. And that was Madison Kaiser with the rebound. Shot from the corner is no good and we're going to get a Foul on Bailey on the rebound. So West Salem attacking the offensive boards early here. Oh, Brudos gets inside position with Brooklyn Booty. Gets a hand in there. She's going to get called for the reach foul. And rash of fouls here early in this in this game. It's the second foul on Westby, West Salem already with a pair of team fouls as well. We're just not quite two minutes into this ball game. Skip pass all the way across to Kaiser. She's going to put up the 17-footer, and Madison Kaiser is off to a great start on both ends of the floors. She hits that 16-footer to give him a four-point lead. Now Miller drags that pivot foot, and we're going to get a travel over there in the corner, and West Salem will inbound. I don't know if my camera is far enough over to catch that or not. But West Salem starts their offense. Quick turnover. And we get a step before she gets the dribble down from Jean. Turnover back to Westby. Caitlin Benish has checked in for the Lady Norris. She tries to get the ball on the inbound, and that is tipped out of bounds by Addison Ferguson, and Westby will retain possession. But West Salem still applying heavy pressure as Benish gets the inbound. Behind the back, picks up her dribble, and nice pass the middle of Fortune, and that's press is broken by Benish. 
Ava Berg into the ball game as well as Fortune catches in the post. Up strong, she draws the foul. Nice strong move in the post from Allie Fortune. I believe that foul was on Brudos. As Fortune goes to the line, her free throw is in and out. Now they're going to get uh, Kaiser for that foul, it looks like. Just her first. Fortune's second free throw is up and good, so Westby is on the board here. Emma Kerner into the game for the Lady Norse. Replaces Miller. Skip pass. Brudos is open on the wing for the three. That's off the front rim. No, but there's Kaiser with another offensive rebound and another basket. Madison Kaiser is really asserting herself in this game. Gluck breaks the press. Comes to a jump stop. Gives to Berg. Berg goes nice move baseline. Pulls up. Middle baseline shot is no good. And Addie Jean in with the rebound. West Salem looks to push. Brudos has the ball on the wing. Skip pass across to Reichert, who gives to Brudos. Back all the way around, Addy Jean. Now a three from the opposite wing is off the rim and no. That was Reichert who missed that three, and West Sailor, or Westby comes away with the rebound. Benish looks to advance the basketball and does, gives to Aaron Gluck. That's stolen away and nearly stolen back by Gluck, but Brudos comes away with it. All the way down the other end, she gets bumped, and they're going to get bumped before the shot. Another team foul on Westby. They're going to get Fortune. Fortune on that foul. Board is showing. That's the fourth Westby team foul. Just two on West Salem. I thought they had three when they picked up the shooting foul on Fortune, but I could be mistaken. That last foul was on Caitlin Benish, not Allie Fortune. That three from the right wing is good for Brudos, and it is now nine to one. That's the first, first steal by Brudos, up strong and in. So a quick five-point run by Josie Berto, Brutos, and that's going to draw a timeout taken by the Lady Norse. So 11-1 to 1 here, 11.52 to go here in the first half. West Salem has the lead. Looking at some of our sponsors, we have Gunderson Health. Gunderson's Viroqua Clinic is where you'll find prenatal care and delivery along with physicians and certified nurses midwives. It's love and medicine from your Gunderson Viroqua Clinic. And Lynn's Home Center, you will find reliable Reliance Water Heaters, Comfort Maker HVAC systems, along with the top-rated Whirlpool, Amana, and Maytag appliances. Lynn's Home Center in Cashton. Main Street Designs. Give Leah a call at 634-3201 and set up an appointment today. Conveniently located in the heart of West Beyond. You guessed it, Main Street. 116 South Main Street to be exact. That's Main Street Designs. And the Main Street Mobile Mart in Viroqua. Your family-owned convenience store complete with the best car wash in town. Main Street Mobile right down in Viroqua. So 11-1, to West Salem with the early lead. Little five-point flurry there from Josie Brudos. Hit a three, stole the inbounds, and got the layup. And it's been Josie Brudos and Madison Kaiser so far. Kaiser with six, Brudos with five, and that adds up to an 11-to-1 lead. Westby still looking for his first field goal as Brooklyn Booty back into the game. She gives this one to Kerner. Beats the timeline and gives to Berg on the baseline. Miller looks to drive, now pulls it back out. Lydia Jothan into the game for West Salem. Near save, but right to Berg, where Berg can't hit the baseline shot, and here comes West Salem going the other way. 
Rudolph's thought about it. Now she's going to try to get to the basket, but kicks it back out. You got a wide open player underneath. Can't get that shot to go. That was trying to number 30 for West Salem, Autumn Logan. Bennis tries to get to the basket, gets denied, but Booty gets the rebound. He goes up strong, a lot, of, a lot of contact, a lot of basketball. Good lead pass by Loking to Brudos, and Brudos is going to finish on the other end. And 13 to 1 is your score. Westby having a real hard time on offense. Long pass out to Berg. Berg will advance the ball past the timeline and start the offense for Westby. Easy shots, really hard to come by here for Westby, and they're not making There's another steal. A little crossover, and a finish on the other end for Lydia Jothan. Nice, strong move after the steal for Jothan. And we're going to get another timeout. So 15-1 to 1 now the score as Westby takes a 20-second timeout here to try to get, some, get their substitutions going. More sponsors. We got Mitby's TV and Appliance. Mitby's TV and Appliance is the place to go for go in cash in for your Samsung, LG, Frigidaire, and more kitchen appliances. And we have Nordic Lanes come in and play. It's bowling season with leagues starting up and continuing throughout the fall and winter. And while you're there, be sure to try one of their great tasting pizzas. Nordic Lanes in Westby. So we're out of the timeout. Westby going to try to inbound and they get the ball into Aaron Gluck. Gives back to Grace Bailey. Bailey's going to handle the ball across the timeline. There's a near steal, but Miller has it, but knocks it out of bounds, and that's going to go to the Panthers. And that pressure is really giving Westby some problems here in the early going of this game. And there's a, a turnover by West Salem. Is that inbounds pass a good idea, but just couldn't, wasn't handled well by Westby. Bailey looks to inbound, gives to Gluck. Good catch by Gluck and gives back to Bailey. Cross court to Miller, and Miller beats the pressure. Long shot from the baseline is no good. Fortune gets the rebound, and she goes up strong and draws the foul. So Fortune will get free throw opportunities, and that's a foul on. Madison Kaiser, I believe that's her second. She's off to that great start. A little quiet ever since, but the West Salem's other scores have really picked it up. As the free throw is good for Allie Fortune. Still looking for their first field goal is Westby, but Allie Fortune is two of three from the free throw line. That's their two points. So here, 9.35 to go here in half number one as Fortune's second free throw is up and good. So... Three of four from the line for Alley Fortune today, and that's resulted in all of Westby's points so far. Nice skip pass by West Salem. They're really moving the ball well against this Westby zone. There's a three from the top of the key. That's going to be off, but saved by Jothan underneath to Fortune and Westby gets a stop. Westby's half court defense has been been pretty stout. Most of there's another steal by West Salem. We're gonna get a travel as she can get the ball down before she wanted to pass that one. Most of West Salem's points have really been off of uh, turnovers off of their pressure defense. Half of them, I'd say. But that 15 to three is the score. 8:58 to go here in half number one. Trying to inbound. Three ball from the corner is good for Alex Wong. That's the first field goal of the game for the Norris, 15 to six. Trying to chip away here in this first half. There's a good defense by Westby. 
And they've, we got a couple of stops here now and trying to take advantage on the offensive end. Fortune gives to Turner, Morgan Turner, who has entered the game. Turner gives over to Bailey. Gluck, good, strong move to the basket. A little under, up and under, and that's no good. And West Salem comes away with the rebound. Great move by Aaron Gluck. Probably could have went up high with that one. She elected to go up and under. Great move. Just didn't get the shot to go. Now a three ball from the wing is no good. And that one didn't hit much of anything but the other side of the backboard. Tough rebound chance, and Westby couldn't hang on to it. So Viroco, or Viroco, West Salem will inbound baseline. And there's a three from the wing. That's off the front rim and behind everything and hit one of the wires back there. So another stop for Westby. That's how you're going to catch back up. Maybe try to get to the free throw line and get stops. And this inbound to Gluck. Gluck up the sideline with the right hand. Looks to get all the way to the basket. Nearly lost it, but gets bumped, I believe, by F Emily Fechner. And that'll be a foul as Ava Berg hustles to the scorer's table to check in. And she checks in for Allie Fortune. Gluck will inbound underneath the baseline for Westby. A little bit of a rocky start, but their defense is picked up. And there's going to be another turnover there as Jothan gets the steal. Boy, West Salem really looks to run. Their outlet passes are long, and they're looking to get going. Now this is kicked out. A little drive to the baseline. Knocked away by Berg, but there's Jothan. Gets the ball on the wing now. And now we're going to get a foul. Three seconds, yep. Fechner was in the lane there. I think she was thinking that shot was going to go up, and when it didn't, she got kind of left hung out to dry there and gets called for the three seconds. So another stop for the Lady Norris. Now you just got to look to take advantage on this offensive end. Berg's handling the ball for Westby and gives to Gluck. Gluck all the way to the rim with the left hand and scores. Good strong move by Aaron Gluck. So 15 to 8. Good strong move to the basket and we get a foul. I believe that's before the shot. And that is on Morgan McClurg who has entered the game. Fifth team foul on Westby, 7.15 here to go in the first half. Westby trails 15 to eight here, halfway through half number one. There's a three on the way off the front rim. No, but good rebounding position there by Reichert and he gets a second chance to, I believe that's Autumn Loging and there's another steal and a basket for Natalie Reichert. So just like that. And I know that's what the West Salem varsity has done in the past too. They, you get stops, you get stops. And the next thing you know, they get a basket, a turnover, another basket. They score in bunches quickly. And you expect the same from the varsity in that game following this one. So 19 to eight now. Gluck attacks the basket again and gets that shot to go. Eric Gluck starting to assert herself on the offensive end. 19 to 10 is your score, 6.20 to go. Down to the short corner, this is Jothan. And nice pass underneath and slow to rotate was Westby's defense and Logan gets her second basket in a row. Out of the half court for West Salem, 21 to 10. Berg handling the ball now for Westby, gives to Gluck. Trying to get to the basket. Had some success here in the last few possessions doing that. There's a skip pass, and that's going to go out of bounds. There's a turnover, so West Salem will take over. Three from the wing for Joth, and that's too strong. And Brooklyn Booty rebounds for Westby. There's a nice pass underneath to Wong, who's had a nice offensive half here. That's her fifth point. 
Great pass from Benish. Three from the left corner is good for Logan, and she is really taking over here. She's got seven points here just in the last couple minutes for West Salem, and their lead is doubled of Westby, 24 to 12. Wong feeling the hot hand. That one's a little bit short and rebounded by Brudos. And West Salem quickly back up the other way. And they get rest stocked away by Fortune. So Westby denies West Salem on that trip. Benish with the ball looks to go left. Boy, a lot of contact there, but gets knocked away into the hands of Josie Brudos. Missed shot there by West Ham. Great rebound by Benish, but couldn't keep her feet and ends up falling down, causing the travel. So West Salem will inbound underneath. Autumn Logan goes to the bench for West Salem along with Addie Jean. And Logan there, like I say, really took over the last few minutes. Seven points for the Panthers to extend their lead. There's a nice move by Jean, but she can't get the shot to go, and Westby comes away with the rebound. Brooklyn Booty from the corner and misses the shot, but Allie Fortune right there for that rebound. And she goes up and scores. That's her fourth point. First field goal for Allie Fortune. Very fifth point. Shot from the top of the key is off the front rim, no good. And Fortune with the rebound and gives to Benish. Benish looks to push, but is cut off by West Salem's defenders. Nice pass underneath again, and there's a finish for Wong. Caitlin Benish really doing a nice job facilitating this Westby offense here. A couple of great assists. Wong, the beneficiary of that one as well. And we get a timeout taken by West Salem. It's 24-16. West Salem has the lead. And a couple more of our sponsors. We have Pex Corner. Stop in at Pex Corner just outside of Cash and say hi to Nicholas and all the gang. 30766 County Trunk D, just outside of Cashton. Pex Corner and Premier Co-op. Premier Cooperative, exceeding expectations since 1893 for your farm, home, business, and automotive needs. Call the Westby office at 634-3184. Premier Co-op. And we also have the Riverbank. Stop into any branch of Riverbank and talk to an associate about your personal banking needs from checking, savings, HSAs, CD accounts, personal loans, and much more. That's the Riverbank with offices in Coon Valley and Westby. 24-16, 3.20 to go here in the first half. West Salem has the lead and the ball. West Salem really likes to move that ball quickly into the high post, right back out. and Nobody holds on to it very long in this West Salem offense against this zone. Another thing they do well is a skip pass over to Brudos. They really keep that zone moving. Another skip pass. This is Kaiser who gives to Brudos. And they get a three from the corner. That's no good, but Brudos is there for the rebound and the bucket. And that's one of the things. You keep that zone moving, you get a shot. Because of all that movement in the zone, it's hard to it's hard to find somebody to box out. And West Salem has taken advantage of that a few times here in this ball game. His booty shot is no good. Fortune hustles and tip gets that rebound. Comes back out long, and I think she took a step before that shot. And then that is the call. Twenty-six, sixteen. West Salem with the lead in the ball. Brutos, 
thought about that shot, but kicks it back out, and that ball just gets whipped right back around. Here's a good drive to the basket and can't finish, and Brooklyn Booty secures the rebound. Fortune has the ball now, looking to try to work her way in. Gluck back into the ball game for Westby. Nice bounce pass underneath to Benish. Caitlin Benish up strong. Somebody got a little bit of the ball there and knocked it away. West Salem comes back the other way. They're going to get a three from the top of the key from Brudos. That's off the front rim, rolls around, and no good. And Wong able to chase that one down and give it to Gluck. So a stop for Westby. Minute and a half to go here in the first half. Benish is going to try a three, and that hits. Doesn't hit the rim. A good save there by Ali Fortune. Saves it off of Reichert, I believe, as we get Berg, Grace Bailey, and Natalie Miller back into the game for Alex Wong, Brooklyn Booty, and Caitlin Benish. Inbounds into Fortune. Knocked away, and we're going to get a foul on the reach. I believe that foul is on Riker. That's her second. Five team fouls apiece here, but we're a minute and 18 to go here from halftime. And the glue, glue looks to go right. She pulls up for that little eight footer, and it's no good off the front rim, but she hustles down, gets her own rebound. Great pass underneath. Berg can't get the shot to go. And West Salem back the other way, leading 10 here. There's a long skip pass for Westby, West Salem. Forty-five seconds to go here in the first half. So far, rotations for Westby in the zone have been really good. And Gets to the basket, forces a tough shot, and they get the stop as Berg gets the rebound. So another 27 seconds to go, and Westby with a chance to cut into the lead here before halftime. Bailey with a shot from the baseline. She hits it. Nice shot for Grace Bailey. 26-18, 15 seconds to go in the half here as West Salem looks to push. Need a stop here. Keep that momentum into the halftime locker room for Westby. Down to seven. Down to five. There's a three from the wing. It looks good, and it is. Big shot for Addie Jean, and that's going to end the first half. So West Salem got a good shot and knocked it down, so they take an 11-point lead into the halftime break. It is 29-18. We're at halftime. We're going to take a couple-minute break here, and we will be back here to give you the second half of this JV game. Once again, this is... Cooley Conference Girls Basketball JV Action brought to you by Western Wisconsin Video Productions, LLC.
Well, we're back here at the Westby Fieldhouse. 29-18, West Salem has the lead. Westby will have the ball coming out of the break here. Benish starting this second half for Westby. Takes place of Aaron Gluck, who usually just plays the one half of the JV contest as we get a turnover by Westby here to start the second half. 29-18 again is your score. West Salem. Westby, after the first oh, three or four misses, we're going to get a offensive foul here on West Salem. I believe that was an illegal screen call. I just don't think he made the right signal. Kind of signaled a blocking foul, which is... Anyway, Westby basketball. Nice drive to the basket. Can't get the shot to go as Miller. Booty with the rebound gets another rebound. And now we're going to get a reach foul on Jothan. It kind of looks around, thought she just had her hand on the ball. But sometimes when you have your hand on the basketball there and the other player has more control and turns, it ends up being a foul as Miller tries the three. That's going to be too strong. Tipped out of bounds off of Natalie Reichert and Westby takes over Keep, keeps the basketball and, and inbounds on the baseline tries to inbound to Benish and we're going to get a foul from behind on Logan so the second half starting off like the first half the officials are really calling everything and then you know and then Boy, as that half went on, it was a really smoothly played game of basketball. So I think credit the officials there. Early in the halves here, they're going to keep players honest and players adjust, and we have a good game of basketball as that shot is no good. And West Salem takes over as that one went out of bounds. Yeah, so it was a little flurry of foul action early, right in the first minute and a half of this game as well, in the first half. And then everything just kind of cleaned up, and we had good basketball, not a lot of interruptions. And the second half kind of starts the same way. Bailey tries to get into 4 2, and 4 2, nice job digging that one out of there. Nearly lost that ball as we go down, and we're going to get a jump ball. That's going to go to West Salem. That was Bailey. Got into traffic and couldn't get, rip that one through. Was into the post, and that's a good finish there by Reichert. And a nice pass into the post. I believe that was Jothan who made that pass. Bailey trying to go full court on that one, and that's going to be tipped. I think it's going to stay with Westby. Ava Berg enters for Brooklyn Booty. And... No, Ava Berg in for... Shot up and no good. Rebound for West Salem, and they come back the other way. Berg is in for Grace Bailey as Jothan takes that 16-footer from the baseline. And nice shot. She was almost behind the backboard, but she buries that shot. 33-19, and, and uh, it looks like you know, Caitlin Benish was there trying to get that ball under pressure, and the help to come get that inbound in was a little bit late, and Westby has to call a timeout. So with that, we have Rural Mutual Insurance. Stop in and see Kevin Blusky for your farm business insurance needs. You're a Wisconsin-based insurance company that keeps your money in the state. Scenic Bluffs Community Health Care Center. Serving Cashin, Norwalk, Viroqua, and La Crosse. Surrounding communities with the most up-to-date medical care for everyone. Scenic Bluffs Community Health Care Center, 654-5100. Oh. 
And Sealand's Carpetland, located in the heart of Coon Valley. When it comes to your flooring needs, no one is better than Sealand's Carpetland. If you walk on it, Sealand's Carpetland sells at 452-3129. Once again, Sealand's Carpetland in Coon Valley. Near turnover, but Fortune able to retract that one back down. Knocked out of bounds. We'll stay with Westby. Tries to get that into Booty. A bit of bad angle there. And nice unselfish pass up ahead to Logan. And she makes the layup. West Salem continues to pressure. But Miller's out ahead of that pressure here now. But now she's cut off. Into the post for Booty. And Booty's shot is up off the back rim. No. That's, ooh, that's a lot of contact there. As Benish kind of got knocked out of the way there. But good strong play by West Salem. And Jothan gets the finish. So... 35 to 18 now. West Salem starting to run away with this one. There's a pass to Booty who comes up to help out. Gives back to Berg. Berg's done a nice job handling the basketball for Westby in this one. Not normally as well as a great cut and they missed her. So it's kind of a give and go there from Ava Berg. And she was she was open. This didn't get her the basketball. Now Miller takes a shot from the baseline and she hits it. 37-20 now is the score. West Salem comes back the other way. Tries to get to the rim. That's tipped around and knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with West Salem. Wholesale substitutions for Westby as we get five new players. That'd be Bailey, Kerner, Turner, McClurg, and Wong. There's a skip pass nearly stolen by Bailey. That one is stolen, but then I think she stepped on the baseline. That was number 24 for Westby. That was Morgan McClurg. Nice defense there. Just couldn't stay away from that baseline. Strong move to the basket for West Salem, and they tip it around. They keep the ball on the offensive rebounds. And now we're going to get a blocking foul on Kerner. That's Addy Jean. There's a foul coming across. On the inbounds pass for West Salem was Emily Fechner, and she gets fouled. Free throw is up and short. 37-20, West Salem with the lead here. 11.36 to go here in the first half. Second half, I'm sorry. Knocked away, and Westby comes away with a trap there in the corner now. Just has to kind of heave it up there. A lot of contact, but Grace Bailey comes away with it. Nice job by Kerner, controlling that basketball on the other end. It's tipped away, another tipped away, and West Salem finally comes away with it. Down the court they go, nice pass to the middle, but kind of dribble it off her foot, I think, and they'll bring the ball back out and start over. Good, strong move to the basket. We're going to get a foul here, I think, before the shot. I think Wong picks up the foul. Third team foul on Westby. Oh 
shot by Kaiser is no good. Kaiser had a big start to this ball game. I think she scored West Salem's first five points, had seven of their first 11. Kind of cooled off in the second part of the first half. That's a nice drive to the basket and a finish for Addison Ferguson. Kind of made that look easy as she got into the lane and scored. 39 to 20 now. And Bailey goes to the basket, draws the foul, and she's going to get some free throws. Berg and Miller, I believe, over there set to check in. But Bailey will shoot a free throw first. It's up and a little strong. Miller in for Wong and Ava Berg in for McClurg. Bailey's second free throw is strong with good going glass. 39-21. Another foul on the floor on the Lady Norris. Last few possessions have been a, been a, been a little foul happy for Westby. Brooklyn Booty back into the game for Turner, Morgan Turner. That foul was before the shot, so West Salem will inbound. I think we're going to get a, another illegal screen on Kaiser. That's her fourth. 39-21. Westby looking to need to start to chip away here. Berg to Booty in the high post. She goes up with the shot and hits. Brooklyn Booty with her first bucket of the ball game. Thirty-nine at twenty-three now. Nine minutes to go here in the ball game. There's a shot going glass, no good. Brooklyn Booty gets the rebound. Brooklyn Booty from the other corner of the key there banks this one in. So four straight points for Brooklyn. Makes it thirty-nine twenty-five. They're hanging in there. Three from the side is, is too strong, and Bailey lets it go out of bounds. So another stop for Westby. And, you know, a couple of possessions here and a couple of stops. They can get themselves back into this game. 39-25. I believe the lead, biggest lead for West Salem was 19 points. It's down to 14. Bailey has the ball now. Now 4-2, and I'd like to see if we can get back into Brooklyn Booty in that high post, see if she can't. There's a skip pass tipped away and stolen by West Salem. With the left hand, nice finish there by Lydia Jothan with the left hand. Makes it 41-25. So that's one thing. When you're trying to make comebacks, Booty again from that spot, that one's too strong, and Jothan gets the rebound. Kicks out ahead. And not going to stop, and Miller picks up the foul. West Salem does a real nice job. of They get that steal. They push the basketball until you stop them, and they're really, really attacking the basket here in the second half. That's the fifth team foul on Westby Miller's first. Bailey and Fortune get a rest as Benish and I think Ava Berg back into the ballgame along with Emma Kerner, Miller, and Booty. West Salem inbounds, baseline. They lead 41-25. Yeah, but when you're trying to come back, the one thing you can't do is turn over the basketball. Another thing you can't do is give second-chance opportunities to the opponent. There's a little hop and a travel. So they get the stop. 
Yeah, I mean, ideally, you know, you, you, you limit your opponent to one shot. You do your best to get to the free throw line. Benish brings the ball up for Westby. This is Ava Berg from that high post spot. Boy, she could turn to look to shoot that shot, too. She's plenty capable of hitting that little 12-footer. There's a steal by West Salem, so another turnover. Looking up ahead, but too strong, and Jothan can't run that one down. Well, that's a part of West Salem program that is obviously taught and practiced is push the basketball, long outlet passes, run it down, and push until they until they challenge and stop you, and then run offense. And it's been a pretty successful system for the Panthers so far this year, JV and varsity. That Brody shot is too strong. Logging with the rebound. And through the hands of Autumn Logan, and well, she's had a fine basketball game, and she was kind of upset with herself for letting that one get through her hands. So Kerner inbounds to Benish. Looking to chip away here. We're under seven minutes, 6.45 to go in the ball game. They go down to Kerner. And that was just a tad late there as Logan gets the steal, but Kerner comes up from a near steal, but Logan able to use her strong hands to keep that basketball. Near steal for Berg. And we're going to get a double dribble as she hit the shot on the baseline. Alex Wong back into the game for Miller. Yeah, I think Ava Berg on that closeout kind of tipped that ball. I'm not sure that that was a double dribble, but the official saw it differently. So Westby gets the turnover and nearly turns it over again. Now Kerner's going to take the little 12-footer and misses. But that was Wong, I think, got the rebound. Fortune can't get the bunny to go, and that's that's kind of a deflating Deflating possession. Boy, Westby did a lot of things right there. Got the offensive rebound. A great pass to Fortune, and she probably makes that, oh, I don't know, 95% of the time, but didn't make that one. Coming up on six minutes to go here in the ball game, and Westby's got some work to do trailing 41-25. Tipped out of bounds, going to stay with West Salem. There's a three from the opposite wing there for Jothan. She's had a fine basketball game as well and leads back up to 19 for West Salem. So Westby tried to make a run there, but West Salem answered. Now it's equal. Now we get a three from Wong from the corner, and that's too strong, and West Salem gets the rebound. Jothan's open from the other corner there. That one's too strong, but nice job by Wong in there. Battling, rips it out, draws the foul. So each team now has 16 fouls, so bonus free throws the rest of this one. 5.20 to go in the ballgame. 44-25, West Salem with the lead. Nice pass inside to Berg and gets the finish. Boy, nice job by Ava Berg keeping keeping that defender behind her. And that's a, that's a great look. That pass had to be spot on, and it was. And I, darn it, I can't remember. Didn't see who made that pass. But Berg with the catch and the finish makes it 44-27. Nearly knocked away, and now Berg picks that one up. Nice job by Wong. I think that was Wong who made that pass into the post as well.
So that was a steal by West Salem. Tried to get it into Berg there again. Benish didn't really have the angle. That's a tough angle to make that pass and an easy pass to steal, and that's what West Salem did. And now we get a foul on Westby. Should be some bonus free throws coming up. I believe they gave that foul to Kerner. And that'll put Jean at the line. Eddie Jean shooting the one and one. Wholesale substitutions for the Lady Norse. Bonus free throws up. Too strong, but Fechner gets the rebound. And we got a jump ball. It's going to go to Westby. So, yeah, Emily Fechner got that rebound. Oh, a little mishandle there in the high post. And Jothan comes away with it. Tipped around and, boy, did she save that? She saved that. Wow, that's a great play by Logging. Good hustle. Reached down and saved it off of, I believe that went off of Turner. Well, yeah, great play there by West Salem as they keep the possession. But now they're going to get a block on Bailey. A little too physical toward that baseline. Kind of forced her out of bounds. That's going to put Emily Fechner at the line. Her free throw is too strong, and Brooklyn Booty gets the rebound. Under four to go now. 3.45 to go. 44-27. West Salem with the lead. Brooklyn Booty tries to go baseline. Now she dribbles back out. Tries to pass into the post, and that's stolen away by Emily Fechner. Shot is no good. Rebound by Booty. And we're going to get a timeout taken by Coach Gluck and the Westby Norse here. 44-27, 3.17 to go in the ballgame. Full timeout, so we'll get, it gives us a chance to go back and look at a couple more of our sponsors here. Sleepy Hollow for quality service after the sale. It's Sleepy Hollow with a collision center, a detail center, and 24-hour towing. Levon and the gang are at your service. Sleepy Hollow in Viroqua. And Sweet Valley Artisans and Valley Fudge Candy. Fudge and Candy. Sweet Valley Artisan invites you to stop in and browse 9,000 square feet of artisan mall located in Coon Valley featuring more than 50 local artisans. You are sure to find your treasure with handmade crafts, collectibles, furniture, paint, food, fudge, and more. And the Vernon Communications Cooperative. Since 1951, VCC has been around to serve the area with high quality technology service. VTC is now working with nearly 1,000 subscribers. And Vernon Manor Healthcare Center. Vernon Manor Healthcare Center has been committed to serving residents of Vernon County for over 100 years. When it comes to quality healthcare service in Ver Vernon Manor stands out as a leader in the industry. So 317 to go here in the ball game. Westby has the ball on the sideline, trailing 44-27. They made a run here in the second half, tried to get back into this one, but West Salem responded and then some. And they hold a pretty commanding lead here at 44-27. Now we're going to get a jump ball there, and that's going to go back to West Salem. So more good defense by the Panthers forces the turnover. There's a steal by the Lady Norse. Substitutions getting ready for Westby. Moody has the ball in the corner. There's a three from the top of the key, and that's no good and out of bounds. So Wong. Berg and Benish back into the ball game for Westby. 
Substitutions complete. Two and a half minutes to go here. 44-27. West Salem in control. There's a near steal by Benish. Well, that's great hustle. Tips it out of bounds. A little bit of contact there, but she's been there on the other end of that a couple times on the other end of the floor. So she went in there aggressively and got nearly got the steal. There's a three from the wing from Fechner. It's no good, but West Salem corrals that long rebound. Now they get a little give and go action, and now they're going to get a bump on Turner, I believe. That's going to put West Salem at the line. That's team foul number nine, I believe. Turner's second. That puts Addie Fergus, Addison Ferguson at the line. Free throw is no good, but the long rebound comes out to Ferguson, and... Now we got a three in the air. That's too strong. That was Kaiser. And now a, another travel here as Bennett secured the rebound, but couldn't keep her feet, so it will stay with West Salem. Westby had been on that defensive end for a long time here now, almost, almost a minute. West Salem is still moving that basketball around the zone. The baseline shot now for West Salem. It's too strong with another offensive rebound. That is Ferguson, and she goes up and scores. So 46-27, I think that matches the biggest lead of the game. 108 to go here. We're going to get a timeout here taken by someone. I think they just wanted substitutions. Be white basketball. Westby basketball. Wong will inbound to Benish. <laughs> now we're going to sneak another substitution in here late as Jothan back into the ball game. So now we get the inbound to Benish. Gives to Kerner. Kerner in a bit of trouble. And now they're going to call the travel. and Switched up her pivot foot there before she could get rid of that one. So Jothan takes this inbounds. Now we're under a minute, 54 seconds to go. Near steal by Benish. 30 seconds to go. Tries to get into the post to Kaiser. That's kicked back out. Now reversed. Good strong move to the basket. Good block out there by Westby. But Jothan on the other side gets the rebound and the putback. 48 to 27 now. 14 seconds to go. Benish now at 10. Westby going to try to get one last ditch if we're going to get a good possession here. Berg has it, now kicks out to Benish with four. Kerner has it. We know how much time is left, and we're not going to get the shot off. It's a little late on that one, and the horn sounds, and Westby has been defeated by West Salem, 48-27. So we're going to take a break here. This is Cooley Conference Basketball. Should have a good one coming up for you, as once again, Westby looking to grab a share of the Cooley Conference lead against West Salem. So once again, the JV falls 48-27 to West Salem. We will be back here shortly in about 12, 15 minutes for the varsity game. Until then, this is Western Wisconsin Video Productions bringing you girls basketball. We'll be back.